Hello everyone. Today we are going to see some nice cameras, like the format, uh, different formats, honestly. Uh, the brand is Seis Icon, in Spanish Seis Icon. I don't know how it's pronounced in English or German, so it doesn't get Seis Icon. And they have two kind of naming these cameras. I name them, I, I know them by the numbers. So we start first with this one. This is a small one. It's a 531. Okay, see, so this is post war. I mean, after the Second World War. How do we know that? Basically, because of the lens. The lens has this red here, means has been caught. Uh, coating, coated. I mean, they did something to help with the contrast so the sun honestly I should read more about the coating what it does or what it doesn't so but they grow yourself because otherwise I will mess up anyway this camera came from from client it's a very nice one it came honestly in a very bad shape really uh, three small holes in the bellows that I patched with uh, black silicone can be used here they are the three of them i don't know if you can see it they just small holes if they are if the bellows are gripped it depends where they are it's better to use another method not that one anyway the lens the rear lens was full of fungus they didn't uh, i mean they they left a mark in the lens the middle lens has strong haze, it didn't go away. So at this point, when I get a camera with these problems, I, I talk to the customer, say, look, uh, a camera is worthy what the lens is, is worthy. And probably we, we are not going to have very nice results with this lens. But the client decided to go ahead, so I made a shutter really, really well. Amazing, but the, the thread for focusing was quite stiff and still quite stiff. I mean, they, I, mean, I don't know, I cleaned everything, passed the needle through the threads, greased it per perfectly. Still, it is more stiff than I would like because I cannot do this with one finger, I have to use two fingers. And this should be only like one finger, but okay, this just me. Anyway, this format of this camera is six, four, five and a half. Okay, so from one roll of 120, you get 16 photos. Uh, you check the frames with a ruby window, you win, and you just check the numbers. This camera has a block, I mean, a double exposure prevention, meaning that I cannot do it again unless I wind. Okay, now I can. Range founder, it's quite a stretch and honestly uh, unique. Has several parts here inside. There is something like this, but smaller, okay? So through here, you take a look of the image, and through the small one, it comes the patch moving, okay? And with the help of two small glasses here that they are uh, rotating in the opposite direction, then the image is going to move, the patch is going to move, from left to right, and we have exact uh, match from this still image and the one which is moving. That means the lens it is uh, on focus. Okay, the viewfinder it is here. All these cameras they have. You can take a look from here, and it is quite well. I mean, quite good. Uh, composing here. 
with the glasses is, I would say, excellent. Okay, I never miss, I never miss focus. I mean, miss, miss frame. I no. It's really difficult. I mean, for me, it's very comfortable. Okay, how the camera works in general. Okay, folded this way. Mm -hmm. Loading. Put here the roll. Pass it here. No. You put the roll here. Here the spool. Then you start winding. You catch up. Close the window. Frame number one. Good to go. Normally, these cameras you press and only this is up. So you have to small or help with the like this. You pull it out and then it goes with the foot for standing. Okay. Then you raise. I mean, if it's in the photo is infinity, you just put the lens on infinity. Always fold the camera with the lens infinity. Okay. Um, speed. Oops. Aperture here. Okay. Cropping and releasing. Everything is manual. Honestly. And well, I did uh, some test, few frames I shot, and excellent, really. I wouldn't say that the lens has any trouble at all. Obviously, the sun was always on my back or on shade. Okay, so with this old lens, it doesn't care if you have coatings or not, the sun has to be on the back, or you can have quite a strong flare over there. Okay. This is the smallest one, the smallest one. It is the 531. Uh, there is one also, the previous one, 530. The difference is that you don't have here the shutter release, okay? So the shutter release, you have it either here. Yeah, I think you have it here in this model, okay? But this is really comfortable because, you know it is like took cooking and uh -huh. that's it. It's a fast camera. We are not here for fast photography. Okay, so this is the smallest model. So now we are going to six by nine this is the 531 slash two okay say so icon they have a very strange name of numeration of the cameras okay if you have a camera that says icon is a number three numbers usually slash two means the camera is six nine okay you have a slash 16 camera is a six by six and so on they have a lot of formats so this is also a post-war camera. The lens is a says Optum Desert coated. You see the blue reflection. Mm. This camera. This camera is dual format. You can shoot 6x9 or 6x45. Uh, How? We have a very nice mask here. This is for the smallest format. Basically, you are shooting this camera, but with a bigger lens. I mean, a longer lens. Oh, you can remove it, and you have six by nine. Working exactly, exactly the same. Uh, six by nine, on only eight photos. Resolution. My God, excellent, really. Range fan, the same. Brings here, image goes through this lens, and here you, you see the, the subject, you match the subject to focus, ready, cooking, and here you have frames. Okay, you see the six, nine frames and the smaller format. They are going to be reflected on this mirror 
on your side. So it's quite comfortable because the framing of this is really, really good. Okay, and then you should, I mean, you release again. Mm -hmm. uh, open here the windows, go to the next frame, close it, la 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 la. In this model, I don't know if by design they have a flash contact or someone added it later. Okay. It has self timer, but I don't know if it works. This one has self timer. I don't recall seeing it. No, this one it doesn't. This one has self timer. It's activated. Okay, it's gonna take the risk. Uh, it should work. You pull this da down, continue, and then. Hmm, it's working, yay. Nick, 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 nick. Yay. About 10 seconds, maybe. Folding it. Uh, something is not. Yeah, everything is fine. Uh, these ones they have super nice cases. I have it somewhere. Really comfortable, really nice, super classy. Okay, and there is another bigger. This one. Yeah, it's gonna take a look comparing to the 6.9. Okay. This uses different format. It's not made in format, it's a bit bigger. It uses uh, 70 millimeters film, not perforated. The balls, they were sold by Kodak before. Uh, six, six, 16 and 116 film type. Okay. Uh, the negative here, it is 6, 5 by 11. This is, this is huge. Um, you can find this film somewhere. Normally it's for Aerophoto. I was lucky to, to have to have from 3X and HP5. And I found some Portra C41, which I enjoy a lot shooting it. This model is pre-war. You see there is no button, so the release here. This is a 5. 130 slash 15. 15 means in this format. Okay. A few cameras they are having this. Oh, really, all of them old shooting. Here you don't have double exposure prevention. Okay. You just win, win, and win with no end. Here you don't have windows for taping the red. Uh, red ruby windows. I don't have any way light leaks. Mm -hmm. It is well covered. And shooting and releasing this from here. Also, this camera not mid has a very nice thing. Your own cable re cable release, obviously. Says icon, it says. I don't know if you can focus. Well, anyway, you put it here. I don't find it comfortable unless I'm sitting on a tripod, okay? Because I prefer to have the camera holding this way, focusing, and then shooting. Okay, this is a very strange camera, uh, very few on the market. And honestly, I have another one which I plan to convert to 120 film. So I will have very long panoramic on 120. Okay. I have this mask as well for a smaller format. A smaller format is six by, what is it? Six and a half by five. Mm -hmm. So this is the three cameras. 
da koja je šimila. That's it. If you like 6x9, this is a very nice camera. If you like a smaller format or you want more frames per roll, this one is also very good. Take a look of the photos. What are these cameras capable of? Capable of of make? For me, they are really really good for portraits. Landscape they do it very well, but for portraits, at aperture about four, five, six, around not minimum distance, but maybe yeah, minimum distance in this camera they have problem. Okay, they are quite big. Anyway, the portraits normally it is just from the belly to the rest. Okay. I would say probably in the old times they wanted to show much more than now. This is maybe more headshots or just from the shoulders. You cannot do this on these cameras. Minimum focus on this time. On this one, it is one meter three, one dot three meters. And this one is quite big also. The minimum distance in the 6.9 is one meter and a half. And in the biggest is almost two meters. So yes, portraits are always half body. And also I wanted to introduce to talk about this one. This not this one is six by six. Okay. And precisely this model is a five hundred thirty-two slash sixteen. It has the same method of range finder. In this one, you don't collapse it. Okay, it's always fixed here. And you have only one window for the range finder and the viewfinder. And yes, this camera went absolutely fine because I can do this. I can focus just with one finger. Uh, the thing people don't like from these cameras is you get only 11 photos per, per roll. There is a trick to get 12, but then you have to play releasing the shutter from, from here. OK. This also is a very good camera, heavy, 6x6, it's a Zycon. Three models that I know from this one, the previous one, who had two separate windows, one for the rangefinder, another for the viewfinder, and the model that has a selenium meter and light, light meter, which is a bit more tall and heavy. I prefer without without the light meter. And then the post-war cameras, 6x6 from Sage Icon, they are the 531-16 and the 534-16. New design, new rage finders, still front focus cameras, as these ones. Less heavy, more portable, I think. Lenses, they say they are better. Yes and no, okay. And it's just a matter of luck if you find one in, in good state, which is very good thing from the size I can fold this. Uh, the struts, this are gonna keep usually your lens absolutely perfect with the film play, not moving. If you find a folder that this is moving during the or doing click, 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 forget it, go for the next, okay. Because this cannot be fixed at all. Okay, thank you for watching here for small introductions to all cameras. Uh, I love folder cameras, really. Mm -hmm. And I won't get tired of working on them and using them. Okay, thank you for watching. I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye.